in this video we'll be talking about how to make the most out of traveling when you drive a car it sucks i know it sucks hey guys welcome back to the channel i have a two hour commute to my current job so you could imagine two hours i take literally six transportations every day to go to and i decided to make this video is because there are a lot of people who are medical doctors um, they might have just come out of internship or they might be a sh or senior house officer what we call here in jamaica a medical officer and you may not have a vehicle yet because i mean vehicles are expensive in my case as you guys know i left jamaica recently and came back to trinidad so i had to basically sell my car in jamaica in order to get one here and that took a while selling takes a while so therefore i am sorry i am a traveler right about now i am a traveler so how do i survive commuting right so tip number one you can listen to our audiobook i have recently gotten into audiobooks like probably three months ago when i first borrowed my audiobook from nalis that is our library here in trinidad and i was like wow this is really good i also recently started listening to audiobooks on youtube which is really nice um because you can basically go find your taxi and tune out everything around you tune out everyone around you and spend that time with yourself you know developing yourself listening to an audiobook and there are so many free resources out there with audiobooks you cannot go wrong the second thing I do is I bring my ebook reader with me. Give me a second, let me show you. So, this is it here. Um, for those of you all who have been following me for a little bit, for a little bit, you know, for a little bit no i love this thing this is my kobo ebook reader and right now i am reading the millionaire fast lane 91 percent so i have two hours left to go and i usually use this um when i'm in a vehicle and there is not much noise meaning the radio is not too loud because you know some of these taxi drivers is really overdo it with the radio um and you have that ability to focus to focus on what you are absorbing i really love quiet i enjoy reading in the quiet so that i can as i said before focus on what i am number three is very important spending time with god and it might sound funny because you're like you know you're supposed to be doing that in a in a specific structure like a church you know but no that's not true that's not true you can worship anywhere you can literally worship anywhere once you're not being really extra oh man must be too once you're not being extra this is when you can actually spend time with god because you have so much time in your private place and spend your time with god tip number four invest in some really good headphones now i have these the um airpods pro don't come up the airpods pro and i'm not saying to get these i'm saying to get some really good headphones that you enjoy that would make your listening experience really enjoyable because one thing i love about these they have this mode where they allow you to block out external noise so noise cancellation then noise cancellation is amazing you literally feel like you are in another room and you can hear muffles of people talking but nothing actually you know there is the 
there is the mode where you can um, have it to hear your environment, but I like that one too much, you know, you know, people just be loud and be annoying. So, you know, the noise cancellation and this is amazing. So invest in a good pair of headphones in order to, you know, just enjoy that quiet time. Tip five, sleep. Now, some of y'all, you could sleep anywhere. You could sleep anywhere. And you see that kind of, you see that kind of, that, that says to me, that you could sleep through an earthquake or a hurricane and you're not safe because you could sleep through these things i on the other hand i on the other hand cannot sleep as easily as some of you guys so what i tend to do is close my eyes and then closing your eyes that really relaxes you and if you are a light sleeper like me you wouldn't be asleep per se but you would be in this um you know semi unconscious mode and uh, by the time you come out the taxi you would feel somewhat you know just a little bit refreshed especially post duty traveling listen it's not easy so close your eyes don't sleep away don't miss your stop just close your eyes and if you if you are aware of certain clues to clue you in when you're near to your stop so for example when i am entering port of spain there is this part of the flyover where you have to go over a certain series of humps in the road so when those humps when i feel those humps i open my eyes so i use those cues to be like okay we're in town now time to you know ship shape up so i can get all the people vehicle the sixth tip is to um get a good data plan listen you only use your data plan when you're out on the road obviously and when you're on duty that's the important podcast oh my gosh podcasts are amazing if you find some really good podcasts to listen to it will have you engaged actually when you're post call when you're post call you can't listen when i'm post call i get so irritated over people talking that's all bad it is because i am so tired you are so tired you are here for me yapping in your ears you understand so podcasts are the way to go whichever podcast you decide to listen to is a good way to actually learn and grow and engage your mind sometimes it's not even about engaging your mind especially post call sometimes it's just like to blank people out as i said anyway guys that's it for this video stay tuned for my other videos in the future see you guys in the comment section let me know what you want to know bye